Right now, a lot of people think the NPU in their shiny new laptop is a gimmick, and that's pretty fair. For months, it mostly powered camera blur, eye contact tricks, and a flashy co-pilot key. But that's starting to change. Today, I'm going to show you why NPUs looked pointless, what's been holding them back, and a new runtime that finally runs real LLMs entirely on the NPU. There are three reasons why MPUs look like deadweight. So the first one was that software just wasn't ready. The Windows AI stack was fragmented, devs bounced between DirectML, Windows ML, and vendor SDKs. And on top of that, Copilot Plus wanted like 40 tops of NPU power, and that just wasn't a thing on most laptops at release. They just didn't have it at launch. And then we got the second point, which is just model and kernel limits. Early NPU paths didn't support all ops for modern LLMs, so inference fell back to the CPU or the GPU. AMD's own 1.4 stack leaned on hybrid scheduling just to split the workloads across the NPU and the GPU to hit a decent latency. That kind of defeats the purpose. And then the third point is memory bandwidth. They have on-chip SRAM. It's not that fast. It must stream tensors from system memory. So when your memory fabric is shared with GPU and CPU and quantized to fit, you're bottlenecked. And as a result, they're small models only with careful tiling until smarter runtimes arrived. So what changed? Well, two things actually. First, the hardware kind of just grew up. AMD's latest Ryzen AI chips bring the XDNA2 NPUs which now is around 50 tops, meeting and exceeding the Copilot Plus target. And that matters, because for running bigger quantized LLMs at a usable TPS, we're now in a 15 to 30 watt envelope. The second is that the software just kind of caught up. Microsoft expanded first-party NPU support on Windows, and AMD's open work like ORT, GenAI, and Hybrid Flows made local agents a real thing even if they weren't fully NPU only. And this is where things get interesting. Fast Flow LM is a lightweight runtime that targets the AMD Ryzen NPUs directly, which means there's no GPU, no CPU fallback. It runs models like Llama, Quinn, and DeepSeek fully on the NPU, and it claims big wins in both speed and power efficiency over AMD's own official stack, which is kind of mind-boggling, actually. But think of it as kind of a Olama style workflow. Purpose built for the NPU though. They also added support for long context, up to 128k tokens with Llama 3.1 or 3.2, which honestly is wild for a laptop NPU and exactly the kind of feature that pushes NPUs into serious local agent territory. And according to their own docs and demos, FastFlow LM shows up to like 14 times faster decode and multi-X power efficiency versus the standard Ryzen AI software baselines. Plus, comparable or kind of better than TTFT. That efficiency is insane. That's the MPU's job isn't beating a big, discrete GPU, but it's delivering a quote-unquote good enough local AI without torching the battery. So, it's pretty good. 
So if you're wondering why this matters, it's because it makes sense when you're on battery. It would allow us to do things like local co-pilots that stay private and responsive even when there's no internet, or background agents that like watch folders, summarize a meeting, or do a lightweight automation without waking up your GPU. It also could be potential for games, maybe on-device NPC brains like dynamic quest logic or voice interaction using tiny, tiny models with a strict latency budget. It could also mean new app features like real-time captioning, smart search, or on-device coding assistance, and it's all going to work without hammering your battery or thermals. This is exactly what Copilot was supposed to do, but this stack actually keeps the work on the MPU and doesn't drag the iGPU along. And if you want to check it out, I've linked the GitHub in the description. So hopefully we see this technology progress. Thank you for joining us.